Stop holding gems. Yeah, you. What are you doing? Okay, okay. I know I have gems myself, okay? But just ignore that. It's for the video. So essentially in this video, I'm going to be teaching you guys about investing inside of Pet Simulator 99. So I have 6.6 .6 million gems right now, but let's say in like two months, these gems will probably be worth like 60,000. Like they'll be worth nothing. They'll be worth pennies if I was to just keep them as is right now. And that is exactly why you invest your gems so that when the economy rises, your investments will rise with the gems. So it keeps it either even or you can make some profit out of it as well because things can rise higher than the economy. Economy. For example, let's say this huge hell rock is 3 million gems. Let's say the economy will go up by 10x in five months. That means the hell rock will be worth 30 million gems. In this example, we're going to still use the hell rock, even though it's not going to be a rare pet. But you get my point. Let's say this is a rare pet. So then instead of it being 30 million gems, it could be 40 million gems or 45 million gems. So on top of the economy rising, I'm also going to be making 15 million extra, meaning in the long run, it is going to be an investment. I'm going to teach you a little bit about that today. So let's go ahead and go into the trading plaza so we can start looking at some things and i'll tell you guys what's worth it real quick i want to show you guys the best roblox extension out right now and it is called real gold ultimate it revamps the entirety of roblox to make it more clean and sleek and just an overall more modern design it also has a ton of cool and useful features like being able to choose the number of players descending or ascending you can even choose servers in certain regions so you can get the lowest ping possible it also has a completely revamped settings page and special settings like streamer mode which will hide your robux or any other information you don't want showing on stream it adds a feature like showing your current private server subscriptions and your transaction tab there's a filter section in your avatar creator with keyword creator minimum or maximum price. You can also equip multiple hairs or accessories on your avatar. A feature that I really like is being able to favor or have best friends. What this does is put them at the top of your friends list on the home tab so you can easily join them or see what they're doing. On the groups page, you can see when the group was created as well as how many place visits the group has throughout all their games. Another fun and cool feature is that you can look at banned Roblox accounts and then it'll basically show exactly what their profile looked like before they were off of Roblox. You can bulk remove friends. So if you have a ton of inactive people that you're trying to get rid of quickly, you can do that and by far one of the coolest and my favorite feature levels you can level up your roblox account and it will show between all users who actually have this extension you can view the leaderboard for the highest level players or even the most profile visits which is obviously creekcraft right now with these levels you can get cool rewards to make your profile look even cooler than it already does you can earn xp by either just playing games and you get xp the longer you play the game or you can play these xp enabled games which have all kinds of badges that give xp depending on what kind of badge you do definitely a very useful and awesome looking extension also you can use code xmas23 for 20 percent off if you guys are interested in it the link is in the description down below okay so preferably you want to be in the pro trading plaza because more huges are going to be sold there because people have huges in there but a lot of people don't have huges so i'm actually in the normal server just to give you guys a better like example so just like one to two weeks ago these were already worth one million gems so that just shows that the economy is already rising so obviously you are going to need some gems for this so i would highly recommend using one of my tutorial videos to go ahead and rack up some gems with diamond potion for 4k i'll be taking that okay so what you're looking for is huges that are not the few that we're seeing here so we have a huge hell rock that's golden and we also have a huge goblin so both of these things are things you would not want to necessarily invest in if you're looking for long-term profit however if you cannot afford a huge for like long-term profit you just want your gems to rise with the economy so you want to be like around even and what you're going to do is just look for low tier huges you're going to be looking for huge goblins rainbow slimes or what they're calling them colorful slimes now hell rocks happy rocks all the above so that's like pretty obvious right like that's common sense we're going to get into like things you should invest in now one of them being enchant books these are going to be the easy things that are guaranteed to rise and that's exactly why i have five of these here and i do have two chess mimics my friends currently using one i don't actually use either of these books on my loadout like i never use them other than the chess mimics when i'm doing the break mini chess quest and for that reason the chess mimic book is going to rise a whole lot more than the lucky block or firework book because it's actually useful and ranks will always come out with updates however all of these are going to rise because if you take a look in the shop here limited time on these exclusive enchants so they work just like exclusive eggs these will disappear so after this is gone no more will ever be able to be obtained so obviously the chess mimic book is going to rise the most then lucky block and then fireworks so invest in what you can but I highly recommend going for at least Lucky Block and up. Next, if you actually want some use out of the things you're buying rather than just buying those for investments, then let's start getting into which huges that you should actually be looking for that are a decent price range that will guarantee rise. So as the time I'm recording this video, there have been two exclusive eggs out. There's been the dragon and the fruit exclusive egg. So any of the huges from these eggs, I do believe will rise greatly because it's so early into the game right now that when the game picks up even more a little bit later on, these huges will continue to rise because people are gonna want them. So you can see I actually invest 
invested in a huge celestial dragon and even a huge unicorn dragon. I purchased this for 2.5 million and then I purchased this for I think 2 million. And you can already see these are both rising. Now just two days ago, I actually purchased one of these for 2.5 million. This is already 3.2 to 3.6 and the egg is still in the shop. So you can imagine how much this is gonna rise with the inflation as well as just overall this being more rare as time goes on. Now I wanna talk about the best huge to invest in right now that is gonna be medium price range and that is the huge hippo melon. Now, why do I think this is going to rise so much? Well, first things first, the Hippo Melon Clan. The Hippo Melon Clan is notorious for having Josh or Coilist inside of this clan, which is the community manager of big games, if you didn't know. He runs the big game YouTube channel. He's pretty popular and everybody knows that he loves the Hippo Melon pet inside of Pet Simulator. And for that reason, it just overall made this pet worth a lot more than it technically should be. The huge Celestial Dragon had the same exact rarity as the Hippo Melon. You can see just how much higher it already is in the lifetime of it, and it's still out. Currently going for 7.88 to 8.71 million gems, and people are selling it for more than that like 9 million to 10 million now here's a clip of me actually just investing in this earlier i believe i bought it for like 9 million so i think that this was a very good long-term investment for me personally so in terms of other huges that you should be investing in it's kind of like a hard scale to really like guess on which ones are going to rise the best way would be to use which ones were like semi-rare inside of pet simulator x so for example this gargoyle dragon right here this is one of the first few exclusive eggs so i believe this is going to rise like pretty good same with the huge forest wyvern which came out of the same egg i believe also any of the huge jelly pets I think are going to rise a lot because they're just like a very unique huge pet compared to the rest. I actually just invested in this one like two days ago. So this one was a pretty rare one inside Pet Simulator X. So I did invest in this inside Pet Simulator X before the game actually came out. I spent like 2.5 trillion gems on it inside Pet Simulator and then just transferred it. So I think that was worth it. You get the gist. Some of these things can be on and off. Some of them can be a risk. Some of them cannot be. You kind of just have to use like what I've told you. Keep that in mind and then just use that to your knowledge to like invest in some of the pets that will guarantee rise. At the end of the day, don't get too stressed out about it. Just invest in huge pets in general because they'll just keep your gems flat out because they'll just make your gems stay with the economy and it's just not good to hold gems. I have 6.6 .6 million right now. I will be making sure to get rid of them by investing in another high tier huge. But if you don't want high tier huges, just invest in smaller tier ones. Also really quick, this is me the next day. I forgot to mention this in the video, but hoverboards are also another thing that you can actually invest in. So if you didn't already know, hoverboards are actually tradable. So the cat hoverboard, pinata hoverboard, tech and fire dragon hoverboard all have a wrap to them right now i would stay away from the rudolph hoverboard because a ton of people are buying that pack to get on the leaderboard it's probably one of the most overpopulated hoverboards like in the marketplace right now so do not buy these if you're going to buy hoverboards i highly recommend buying either the pinata hoverboard this is from redeeming a merch code so it's pretty valuable the fire dragon hoverboard or even the balloon hoverboard but i don't have this one myself i'm trying to find one but i haven't been able to find like anybody who's actually selling this if you do find someone selling this for a decent price i would pick it up because not a lot of people are selling it so it will be valuable in the future the tech hoverboard is like one of the cheapest ones it's kind of the least cool one because it's not new it was inside pet simulator x so i don't think this is going to be very valuable but if you want to invest in this since it is somewhat cheap then i would highly recommend doing that that's really all i got for today's video it's very basic and complex at the same time so hopefully you understood it if you're new here i do giveaways in my discord server i actually have this new merch right here that i do special exclusive giveaways inside of the discord server for people who only own this festive merch if you're interested in that just join the discord it's the first link in the description subscribe to the channel if you're new i'll see you guys in the next one